Hello, my lovely girls, guys, and folks. It's Kira. Thanks for being here. I'm going to show you what I did for my makeup my entire high school career. I'm the type of girl who likes to sleep in and press snooze like at least five times. So this makeup look was really awesome because it literally took me under five minutes and I could sleep in however long I wanted. But I still looked bomb AF. <laughs> okay, who's kidding herself? I looked at least alive. Like this is, this is a tutorial on how to not look dead on school days. One more thing I'd like to say about this makeup look is that it's for any and everyone. It's for all genders. I've been seeing a lot of recent back to school makeup looks and they're all really geared toward females, cis females. Not just females wear makeup, so I thought this was really important to do and just show people that, you know what? You can be whatever gender and wear makeup and slay. Empowerment! Okay, so enough of me talking. <laughs> Let's start with the makeup. <laughs> so right when you wake up, even before you put on makeup, you want to cleanse your face and then put on a good moisturizer. I explained my whole skincare routine in another video. I will link it down in the description if you wanna go check it out, um, cause it's more like lengthy and I describe more of what I do for my skincare. So after you put on moisturizer, I like to put on some primer. I love the Smashbox primer. Like I think it's the only primer I've ever used, um, but it's just good because it evens out your skin texture um, and kind of closes the pores so that no makeup gets in there during the day. That's pretty important. Um, you can even just wear primer like if you don't even want to wear powder or anything or foundation you can even just wear primer on your face so I'm all done my primer today I'm not gonna be even using foundation because I want it to be very just natural like chill quick and easy makeup routine so I'm gonna be using powder instead the powder I've been using recently is Vichy's tint ideal powder in just the shade one light because I'm pale um, so what I do first is I grab the little sponge that it comes with and then just go over the places that um, are red on my face so I usually go like around my nose and just cover up any red spots see it already looks better Damn, and I didn't even do much. <laughs> so now that I kind of went in and put some powder over the spots that needed to be evened out, um, I'm gonna go in with my concealer. But I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using like a lower coverage concealer. So this is the, um, oh my God, the writing's rubbed off. This is a concealer by Benefit. What's it called? Oh, fake up. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see, but it has the actual product like in the middle of the stick and then on the outside it has like some like moisturizer. So I just, I love it. I just usually put two little stripes underneath each eye and then rub it in with my finger. I love it because it's super natural and low coverage and it doesn't look like I'm wearing concealer. This is just so I don't look dead because I was probably staying up all night writing an essay or watching Netflix, either one. <laughs> but either way, I'm gonna have, like, you know, some substantial bags under my eyes. So this is, this is excellent for covering them up. Damn! I'm like just looking in the viewfinder right now. It looks so much better. I mean, I wasn't doing an essay last night, but I was definitely watching Netflix. But either way, same thing. It's gonna help <laughs> either way. Okay, good. So now I'm gonna go back in with my little powder and I'm just gonna grab like a powder brush and go over my entire face uh, just lightly. This concealer tends to crease a little bit, so what I like to do is go back in with the sponge and just go over the concealer. You can even go over your eyelids a little bit because I know I have some veins on my eyelids and sometimes I just like to go in with a little bit of powder on the sponge to get rid of those veins because again we're not going to be using eyeshadow because it's a very natural looking no foundation uh, no makeup makeup look. Moving on to brows. I'm not using an eyebrow pencil because it's just too harsh because I want a really natural looking brow today. 
So first I'm just gonna brush it out with a little spoolie. I personally love using this shade Cypress Umber in the Modern Renaissance palette because it's just a perfect shade of brown for my eyebrows. So that's what I use. So I'm not really sure where this brush came from because I found it in my mom's makeup bag. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Uh, but it's just the perfect little brow brush. I'm not really gonna be making um, any shape today. I'm just gonna be following the natural curve of my natural brows, just to fill in some of the patchiness. So this is entirely optional, but after I finish filling in my brows, I like to use some brow gel, just because my eyebrows just like to have a mind of their own sometimes and go wherever they please. Rude. So I'm just gonna use the Gimme Brow by Benefit in shade five and go over my brows. So right now I have lash extensions, but when I went to school I didn't. So what I did was I just curled my eyelashes with this, um, what is this? Revlon? I've had this for so long, just like a Revlon eyelash curler. It actually works really well on my lashes, like my lashes cooperated quite well. Um, and then after curling my lashes, I usually went in with the Maybelline Colossal Volume. This is my favorite mascara. Oh, I use this just like all the time, just all of the times. And it's a drugstore brand, so it's cheaper than Sephora brands. So after mascara, you wanna kinda put some color back into your face. I really like to use this Vichy bronzer. I'm just gonna put this around the perimeters of my face and in my cheekbones and kind of on my chin. So after bronzer, I like to put on a little bit of blush, just on the apples of my cheeks, like not all the way back so that it doesn't look too dramatic. Um, but I, I use like a variety of different um, blushes. I really love this one by Milani. It's called Hermosa Rose, I think. A lot of it's rubbed off. <laughs> but um, I love using this one because it's more of like an orangey kind of tint. So this step's optional. Um, I just like being a little bit spicy sometimes. Um, and I put some Becca cream highlighter on my cheekbones. The cream highlighter is really good because it like it's not dramatic at all and it doesn't leave like a stripe of highlighter. It just looks like just a little bit of like Oh, you can already see it. So the very last step, of course, is lips. You can honestly do whatever you want for lips. Like sometimes I would just wear chapstick, sometimes I would wear a little bit of like tinted lip balm. So I'm gonna use this um, Tarte Lip Tint. I have used this for at least two years. And it's just good because it's like a lip tint and it stays on your lips for a really long time, but it doesn't leave any sort of film. Um, so all you really have to do is like dab it on and you'll have a little bit of color on your lips. Once again, this is the Tarte Lip Tint in Envy. Ah! It smells so minty and it tastes minty. I don't recommend eating it though. Don't eat it. So you can stop there or you can add a little bit of clear gloss. So just dab the gloss on really lightly. Okay, do I look a little less dead now? I think so. So guys, this is the final makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. Good luck at school, guys. May the odds be ever in your favor. Oh shoot, the camera's still on.